Hi, this is Manmath. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discussing about as a principle three, establish critical limits for each CCPs identified during hazard analysis. In this chapter, we will discuss about the definition of critical limits, how to determine a critical limits for each CCPs, and what is the difference between critical limits and operating limits. And how to use the HACCP plan form. So, in this chapter, we will discuss these four elements. Those who have not watched my previous videos, as a principle one and as a principle two, I have given link below. Please watch. Now, let us start the video. Now definition of the critical limits, it's very simple, a maximum or a minimum value at which a CCP, the biological, chemical or physical hazards must be reduced or prevented or eliminated to an acceptable level that is called critical limits, a maximum or minimum value at which a CCP is and how to determine how to establish critical limit for each CCPs? Is there any guidelines? Yes. So for each identified critical control points, we have to establish critical limits based on FDA hazard control guide. The first one is FDA hazard control guide and other than this regulations like national regulations and international regulations related specific to the countries as specific to the uh, globe. EU regulations, EFDA regulations, USDA regulations, NACMCF, NACMCF guidelines, these are all will help us to establish a critical limit to control the hazards to an acceptable level. And the other sources also we have to take as a guidance from the expert suggestions, experts from the universities, our research authorities also, we have, we have to take guidance from them. And based on the scientific study also, we can establish the critical limits, effective critical limits to maximum or minimum value at which a CCP. So based on the scientific studies means, so uh, laboratory experiments also we can take into considerations and scientific information also can be taken to establish critical limits for CCP. Scientific information like see research publications or periodicals or research articles, these are all etc. There are many different types of uh, critical limits. They must be specific for the critical control points and hazards that is being controlled. A different critical limits may be needed uh, for species related hazards or for process related hazards also. Each critical control point must have one or more critical limits so to control the hazards to an acceptable level. An effective critical limit will define what can be measured or what can be observed to demonstrate the particular significant hazards at the particular process step control to an acceptable level or not. A critical limit must demonstrate that. What are the measures to be applied? What are the observations need to be on attention, need to be monitored? So let us have a look. So examples of critical limits for species related hazards. For example, if you take the aquaculture streams at a raw metal receiving stage, raw metal receiving stage is the critical control points for prohibited drugs. So the, here the critical limit is supplier declaration regarding non usage of prohibited drugs. That is the critical limit. And another example for the species related hazard is Ras comrade fishes, receiving of Ras comrade fishes or scombrides or tunas at a raw metal receiving stage is the CCP 
so scombrotoxin formation if temperature abuses so what is the critical limit harvest vessel records and the time and the temperature of the harvest vessel records after harvest within 9 hours the fish should be properly iced and the temperature should be dropped down to 84 meter below so that is also the critical limit but here receiving of scombrotoxin forming fishes like histamine forming fishes receiving of tunas so multiple critical limits we have to apply at receiving stage significant hazard See, critical control point c is raw metal receiving stage is the critical control point because stars combo toxin formation multiple critical limits harvest vessel record is the critical limit one and the second one is second critical limit is the entire lot we have to conduct sensory evaluation for the possible decomposition of the lot so we have as per the FDA guidelines, the lot should be below 2.5 percentage of the decomposition, then only will be allowed. And the third critical limit is temperature of the raw material, temperature of the tuna upon receipt, that is also the critical limits. So, these are the multiple critical limits we have observed at raw metal receiving stage for scombrotoxin forming fishes. And what about the examples of process related hazards? So, the process related hazards, for example, aquaculture shrimps, battering applications. So, if the shrimps are breaded or battered, so if the battering applications delays, then the formation of staphylococcus growth may occur. What is the critical limit? The hydrated batter solution should be below 50 per unit in 12 hours it should not exceed that is the critical limit and another critical limit tuna fillets ik frozen tuna fillets this is the process related hazard metal detection is the ccp and critical limit is no detectable metal fragments in the product like that cooked shrimps and cooking stuff is the ccp and critical limit is the product should attain plus 72 degree centigrade or above with a holding time of 60 seconds so that is the critical limit so these are the some of the species related hazards how to establish the critical limits and process related hazards how to establish the critical limits and now the next step is we will discuss about the differences between what is critical limit and operating limit let us have a look now let us discuss about the relationship between critical limit and operating limits an operating limit allows the detection of a potential problem before a critical limit is violated. Operating limits should not be confused with critical limits. Operating limits are established at a level before critical limits are violated. See the diagram. See here is 200 foreign heat. So, to explain this, I have taken the cooked frozen shrimps. So, cooking step we have taken. Cooking step, the operator establish the operating limits. So, at what temperature? At 200 for it established the operating limits. And what about the critical limit? Critical limit is 190 for it. An operator can establish an operating limits are established before reaching to the critical limits violated this is the best example so the definition of an operating limit yes operating limit the criteria which is more stringent than critical limits established by an operator to avoid deviation from a critical limit so that is called operating limit which is more stringent than critical limit see the example here the operating limit is 200 degree for it whereas the critical limit is 190 for it so this is more stringent so the processor can have a time to adjust the process adjustments if whenever the operating limits are violated then he will adjust before violating the critical limits then corrective action is not required in such circumstances however in some cases if the operator 
not established the operating limit then the violation if occurs at a critical limits then he must take the corrective action so that is how operating limit will help us to avoid risk of deviation of critical limits so the process has to establish the operating limit at cooking step this is about the operating limit see here this is the cooking temperature cooking temperature violated at particular stage this is this is what the violation of critical limits so the corrective action required this part only the lot if the processor if the operator is maintaining serially numbered the packaging or finished product serial if they numbered and the time also they have mentioned in the record properly they can they can trace back they can they can reprocess or they can take a proper corrective action based on the deviations observed in the monitoring of temperatures violations during cooking now has a plan form product is cooked frozen cooked ik frozen aquaculture shrimps at raw metal receiving stage is the ccp significant hazards are aquaculture drugs undeclared sulfating agents and environmental chemical contaminants these are the significant hazards which are identified at the raw metal receiving stage so the ccp what are the critical limits here is aquaculture drugs supplier declaration regarding non usage of prohibited drugs undeclared sulfating agents also the same supplier declaration regarding non usage of sulfating agents are shrimps must not contain above 10 ppm so shrimps should not detect the sulfite residues in the meat and environmental or chemical contaminants supplier should guarantee us the product which is harvested far away from the agricultural discharges or industrial emissions and the another example the has a plan form for raw ik frozen tuna fillets so raw metal receiving stage the significant hazard is scombrotoxin formation the significant hazard is scombrotoxin formation but whereas at raw metal receiving stage we have to apply many critical limits i mean more than one critical limit we have to apply to reduce or to minimize or to eliminate the hazards to an acceptable level so the scombrotoxin formation lot harvest vessel record so upon receiving at rm receiving stage the harvest vessel record every lot should accompanying with the harvest vessel record stating that after harvest within 9 hours the fish internal temperature drop down to 83 fahrenheit so this is the one critical limit at rm receiving stage and the second one is at rm receiving stage for scombrotoxin formation less than 2.5% decomposition from the lot yes if you receive the lot which contains below 100 fishes then the entire lot we have to examine for sensory evaluation to determine the decomposition of the fish or 118 pieces from the lot we have to examine and the next critical limit at raw metal receiving stage is we have to observe at raw metal receiving stage internal fish temperatures it should be 4 degree centigrade or below for 24 hours the yeast mill levels cannot exceed 50 ppm or 7 degree centigrade for 15 hours so this is how we can establish the critical limits this is the best example of a critical limits more than one critical limits for a ccp for scombroid fishes so that's all about the video friends if you like the video click the bell icon and subscribe my channel for regular updates thank you and bye bye